grandmother makes jello jiggler. Say it with me. Grandmother makes jello jiggler. Note the motions of your jaw. Note the feeling of a grimace with a large letter and the satisfying roundness of the O. Grandmother makes jello jiggler. Jello jiggler, a grandmother makes. The S should trail nicely just at the end. This concludes today's lesson on the planet Earth XCV13-A and alphanumerical sounds. Please remember that your human mouth has limited capacity and will make sounds that are limited. Thank you. <laughs> well, you should have turned the tape off by now, but if you are still listening to the tape at this point, <laughs> Not sure why. I'm not sure even why we're still sending people down there. Not not that this earth is completely lost to trouble. No place is. It's very great divorce in that way. I'd never thought of a prophet, except in terms of the word before I was made to read the great divorce in preparation. I always come to think fondly on that C.S. Lewis class when I knew I was to be assigned an intellectual charge. There was a soft thoughtfulness to his work that I did not experience with Walt Whitman, who I think wished so much to be like C.S. Lewis, and was not as dirty and depraved and angry as, say, Nathaniel Hawthorne nor as convoluted and abrupt as someone like Edgar Allan Poe. They call it romanticism. Romanticism, it's such an unusual word for such a usual sentiment amongst the mortal peoples. And it is good to be well read for times when such things are called to be. No one has been down since the incident to the earth. We didn't know then the full extent of things, but we're still trading as though it's all so normal and you're just sitting around, waiting, waiting to go, to experience the things in reality you've known from only theoretical preparations since your previous mortal death and the forgetting of things Perhaps you should not have forgotten. I cried yesterday. I have only cried twice before that I remember. My third charge had a cat called Mitten. She was brave when Mittens passed in her arms. And I cried for her then, for she could not. And I cried in an alley when a charge passed away from a needle in his arm. I still think of the smell then more than other things. I still think of his favorite movies as well, black and white, heavy with something called a detective, shot in shadows, so it seemed, with strange the ranged cartoons of the female of the species. I'm still talking. I'm still talking. And the word for this is called rambling, if you do it. I'm rambling because it all reminds me of the work. Work I can no longer do. I understand why I can no longer be the voice, why it is forbidden, especially for me, but that does not make it any easier. The decision that was given to me about my behaviors, and I will admit if you are listening to this, thinking that perhaps I'm delusional, I did become 
too close, too fond. I will admit it openly. I do not know why I like these siblings so much when they happen over and over, different iterations and different universes, different voices of the cosmic. They are silly and capricious and so incredibly independent. If we were to admit anything about our charges on Earth, they are a little bit of a hassle, a thrill, but a hassle. Hardly models of what the consciousness that their cosmic cultivates, that mindset of civilization. They weren't lost to trouble. Now the whole of Surf City is. I can't mention such things in these recordings. Not without capability to erase, capability that none of us such have ever possessed. I do enjoy the work of recording these grammar lessons. It's something at least. And maybe if you're still listening for some reason to these ramblings, perhaps you liked them too. Perhaps you wonder before the ban on movement where they'd gone. All but the one. I shouldn't be telling you this, but he woke up two days ago. I've been watching in spite of the ban. I, I guess I feel I can say it because I'm going to erase this so there'll be no record of it, but I've been watching. No one from the cosmic, nor even judging by the behavior of things, even anyone from trouble knows why. But he sat up in his empty world, cordoned off from the rest of the universe. Of course, there is the one other body, but the other body is in her service. The one in green. <laughs> Why did she choose green? Why did she choose this at all? They were on their way to something they were meant to do, each of them. Uh, Louis Swan, of course, was designed to put wrenches into their plans. That's why so often his descendants are punished. Then, <laughs> you cannot hear this, but we root for you. You are a model citizen in many ways, and you are so trapped. We're trapped. Our trap. He still runs and stumbles sometimes before transformations. He won't starve. There are the sheets since not all the sea was taken from him, along with the town limits that he runs toward occasionally and bounces back from. They make him sick, though, so terribly sick, since he cannot build a fire to cook them on. At least not in that form. I would not have hidden nor felt shame with the charge with animal transformation deep inside, and I don't believe that you should either. The mortal the mortals call it werewolf. No no one's quite able to explain exactly the term and its origins, but it does feel Latin. Folklore, slightly clinical, but also of the night. Why do we let him stumble? Why couldn't we? Why weren't we embarrassed when he began just running around without clothing when he realized just how empty the town was? There was no reason! To leave him wild, and it makes me, well, doubtful, I suppose is the polite word. I have seen a proper cosmic supervisor about this and admitted this fault, and they have said that with my work and my soul, 
that this jagged fault line was expected and will not be repaired or recalled. That it is very nice of them to bear me no shame for this. Others have been recalled or reborn for much less than my crimes. It is nice to feel useful. <laughs> ben lifted a car above his knees, just slightly. It was more tilted than the whole thing up in the air. Oh, oh a car is the colloquial name of an automotive vehicle. Uh, the mortals often claim busyness, so you may find that charges abbreviate many things unnecessarily. They were not always so busy before it was an automo um, automotive vehicle, as it were. It was some sort of wheeled conveyance carriage with a horse attached to it. But they've always believed in busyness, even before technology made their lives too long and too swift and took the unnatural rhythm. More so than even the cosmic could keep up with, if truth be told. And I have been told truth is something we believe in. I guess I'll say it since uh, this will be erased and no one's going to hear it. <laughs> I want to comfort him. I am not in love with him, if that is what you were thinking. Of course, there is a fondness there. I, I've never really been sure why I felt it. I suppose it's the jagged edge. I know amongst the people that listened to last year's broadcasts before the fall, I, that some prefer Edgar and others prefer Mace. You know, they like the creativity, the redemption, the power, and they like it in a different way. But Ben has confidence and routine. I found this comforting inside of myself. If you do end up with a charge like Ben or Edgar or Mace, for whoever is listening to this, if you are, you must learn to both be objective and also not to judge them harshly. It is a line that we endeavor to prepare you for, but you cannot ever really know until you do real field work, as one might say in older times. My first charge fell in love with me. I appeared to him in a fine Italian made suit, and after a month, he begged for a thing I did not know how to give. He reached for my corporeal body and held on tightly. I still feel the grip of white fingers on my flesh, some twilights here. He loved music. At that time, mostly the fashion were instruments that were brass in nature, but sometimes glass, very unorganic, but yeah more organic so than some current fashion, and sturdier, at least. Many things then were sturdier. Fashion is a thing that changes. There are many things that changed, of course, but fashion is chief amongst them. The mortals adorn themselves in different times and places. They use these fashions to make statements for cosmic or for trouble. They are shorthand techniques used to explain who they are, where they are going, where they've come from. They change throughout life. They are optioned in a way that we're not from many times, or at least this is the history they've recorded for themselves. They often think themselves so special. Perhaps they are. We do know difference and that archive work that is part of your final presentation before your first charge is given should include the mortal dichotomy of knowledge 
and yet unpredictable amounts of hubris. You must celebrate this dichotomy, which we struggle to remember. And you should not downplay it or shut it away. The cosmic does not wipe this completely from us either, but we are copies of a copy of a copy of the mortality we once possessed when we were brave and vulnerable and afraid and shining. We cling now to things to try and not forget. We do not know why, always. We clung to my voice, I made it my mission, my job, and others agreed. <laughs> I worry for him. I worry for him trapped in that surf city in that containment loop, and it's not right because it's not his fault, nor am I completely sure that he was lucky being left behind. The fog, the mist, they were all stolen and we just watched it happen. Can you hear me? I am sorry. That was unprofessional of me. I have not fallen. Do not think that. Understand this as a period of mourning, of grief. I am obsessed, I, I know, and I do not know where it will lead to, but honesty is partially what makes the cosmic what it is. When you first arrive, and you may remember this, you find it cold and brutal, such as nature. It is a bit like the great divorce in that way, unless I'm mixing up the work, which is possible. But you understand that you have to peel away the layers of protection and deception that lived in your mortal body that lay and struck deep into your soul. And your soul is what becomes closer to the cosmic, closer to what is truth. Perhaps it is amazing that any are chosen to be of the cosmic. I think it must be amazing to be so. It is an act immortal before death can ever truly know. <laughs> There's some irony and dichotomy to all this. Ben likes the color green, but not that acidic green that she brought into the world with her violence. This green is darker and stronger. It is the underside of a leaf, comfort and protection from the rain. Ben's soul is rich and full of that green, and there were flecks in it, even in the token of protection that kept him from transformation. The only choice that Ben was ever allowed to make were to make donuts. In the timelines and universes where he embraces the choice of donuts, he makes beautiful things for himself and his community and neither he nor the town deserve to have a fallen cosmic star taint the world and the work. It is worse than trouble in some ways, though maybe you don't want to hear it. Ah, so worried with reputation trying to be so manipulative, you think they would want that kind of word or press or message to be out. Falling is different than just giving yourself trouble. How will he survive this? Where did the rest go? Why can't we find them? What would we do? I don't think I've ever said those questions aloud. Barely allowed myself time to think them. All those words together mean different things, but in that precise order with that precise definition. Uh, it is a struggle that goes deep, listener. <laughs> so. You woke up to an empty world and he continues to be trapped in a seated, 
stale rubble. In a world where all the things were stolen. What will we do if he dies from falling ill or from falling at all? What will we do? They cannot live without the other. It is the nature of things. How will the world not break apart? How will we not all become trouble if we do not help him? Help all of them. We have to find them. Even if it's already too late. I. I will find him. Erase recording. <laughs>